welcome students today we will discuss in this module figure of speech in language figure of a speech are used to decorate language a word or expression used not with its original meaning but in an imaginative way to make a special effect a figure of a speech is a word or phrase that possesses a separate meaning from its literal definitions a figure of a speech is a way of describing something or someone interestingly and vividly a figure of a speech is a word or phrase using figurative language language that has other meaning than its normal definitions i have given you several definitions and whatever you want you have to choose okay now किसी भी वाक्य को अधिक प्रभावशाली बनाने के लिए फिगर ऑफ स्पीच का प्रयोग किया जाता है इससे क्या होता है वाक्य जो रहता है वो ज़्यादा आकर्षक होता है नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू एग्जाम्पल राम रन्स विथ अ लाइटनिंग स्पीड हियर वी आर लुकिंग लाइटनिंग रेफर्स टू द स्पीड ऑफ राम वी हैव यूज इट टू सो द मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी of somebody to run in hindi we may say figure of speech alankar hindi mein ise alankar kehte hain which means ornaments or adornments just like a woman use ornaments to enhance her beauty these are used in language essentially to enhance the beauty of a poem now types of figure of speech I have given you several types metaphor idiom proverb simile oxymoron metonym irony paradox personification understatement apostrophe hyperbole scenic talk pun euphemism epigram antithesis lilolthus alliteration onomatopoeia circumlocution pleonies rhyme assonance imagery anaphora epithet refrain repetition consonance allusion symbolism poetic license blank verse analogy consonance enjambment mood tone couplet for shadowing now students you all have heard about poetic device now what happens sometimes in our mind comes that what is the difference between figure of speech and poetic device now i want to clear it the poetic device are more commonly called figure of speech poetic devices include rhyme rhythm meter alliteration etc used in poem figure of speech uses language in a way which is beyond its literal a figure of speech is using language of words in ways i have told you that are beyond their literal interpretation there are typically 10 figure of speech that are used as poetic devices poetic devices include the way words rhyme sound in lines of poetry together and create rhythm when spoken poetic devices are used to arrange the words in way that squeeze them for all of their meaning poetic device of rhyme rhythm and alliteration can set the mood of a poem as in an simile metaphor allegory onomatopoeia personification irony and hyperbole are the most common figure of speech that are used as poetic devices now students 
in this video i want to discuss some important poetic device now first number is alliteration when a consonant sound word repeats serially more than once when a consonant word repeats serially more than once from samuel teller coleridge the rhyme of the ancient mariner i have taken example the fair bridge blew the white foam flew the furo followed free we were the first that ever burst into that silent sea you all are looking that f is repeated and s is also repeated then these are what are these these are alliteration second number simile is a figure of speech in which two dissimilar things are compared to each other using the terms like or as when a person or thing is compared in words with a similar but famous or well known person or thing or place some examples i am giving you for clearing it she is pretty as a picture he is strong like an ox you are sly like a fox she is as brave as tiger use the as to denote the similarity between the bravery of two things as you all are looking the example now here i have given you that here it is given that why as is given because similarity between the bravery of two things now robert burns here it is given that robert burns poem of his beloved uses a simile to describe the beauty okay of his beloved oh my love like a red red rose that's newly sprung in june oh my loves like the melody that sweetly played in the tune here simile mein as or like ka use hota hai aur jaisa maine bataya kya ki isme kya hota hai two dissimilar thing are compared to each other isme ek dusre ka comparison hota hai jaise maine yahan par i have given you several examples here i have given you na that uh, she is as brave as tiger so here it is given as is given and now similarity a girl yeah, similarizes with the bravery here is the bravery of the two things okay she is as brave as tiger so that kind of sentence is called simile metaphor A metaphor is a figure of speech that compares two different things without the use of the term like or as. Simile and metaphor both are same, but in simile we use like or as, but in metaphor we don't use it. He is fish out of water. She is a star in the sky. My grandchildren are the flowers of my garden. Ram is a chicken which sounds absurd. Now here it is given. I am giving you Ram is a chicken which sounds absurd. Means here Ram is a coward. Ram kya darpok hai? Okay. Here it is given. There are so many examples I have given you. Uh, both are same, simile and metaphor. But in metaphor we don't use. in sentences like or as but in simile we use if we are is speaking someone that he is like a crow okay this is simile because i we have used here like but if i am saying if we are saying that he is a crow the meaning is same okay so it is a metaphor i think it is clear now shall i compare the to a summer's day william shakespeare was the best exponent of the use of metaphors this example shall i compare the to a summer's day here t h w e d matlab u hota hai theek hai here it is given that shall i compare the to a summer's day and here i want to say you that william shakespeare in 
every poem he has given the use of metaphors very nicely personification next topic is personification is a figure of a speech that attributes human characteristics to something that is not human an animal object or idea i heard the wind whistling the water danced across my window my dog is telling me to start dinner the moon is smiling at me calling earth as a mother sun gives the warmth of a mother lap here we are looking these two examples i have given lots of examples but i am describing this two both the examples the entities name are non human but represented in a humanity exhibiting tendencies two sun flowers move in the yellow room ah william we are weary of weather said the sun flowers shining with dew our traveling habits have tired us can you give us a room with a view these lines i have taken from william black's poem and now here he personifies sunflower in his poem okay now i have told you that uh, as i have given you definition that we find human characteristic to something that is not human an animal object or idea like here i have given you that here it is saying that earth is calling like a mother and sun is giving warmth of a mother lap then sun and earth both are just fingering as a human characteristics now with the help of example as i have given you you may understand i hope students after reading this you will enjoy i will give you in next part some other explanation related to poetic device and figure of